Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that's something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be going over how to create an embroidered hat design. So if you use the Printful integration with Etsy or with any other shop, or if you use some other embroidery platform, I'm gonna go over how you can use Canva to create uh, this type of design. So this is the example that I'm using today. It is a hat and it says, I get high and it has a fighter plane on it, um, which is pretty popular at the moment. You may know why. Um, so if this is something that you're interested in learning about, go ahead and stick around. So for this video, we're going to be going over how to create uh, an embroidery design for a hat. So unlike a t-shirt, the dimensions are going to be different. So for a hat, if you're using, for example, the Printful integration with Etsy or any other shop, the size that you're gonna wanna use for a hat is actually gonna be 4,500 by 2,000 pixels. So it is going to be a much wider rectangle uh, than what you would typically use, be used to designing on. Now, when we're working with embroidery, especially if, if we're talking about Printful, you are limited to only six colors. So you don't wanna be using any designs that are super colorful or intricate because you're limited to six colors. It needs to be very simple. Um, you want it to be easy to read. So for this, it's gonna be simple. The simpler, the better. So you can do text, you can do image, you can do a combination of text and image but you really wanna keep it pretty simple. Now, it doesn't matter what color backdrop you design on because when you um, put it on the hat, obviously you can pick different color hats, but you can also pick what color you want for the thread, for the embroidery. So I can do this entire design in black, for example, and then I can switch it to white thread when I put it on the hat. So it really, the colors don't matter so much when you're designing. Um, what would matter more is if you if you do different elements in different colors, because then that gives you the ability to change the thread color. If I do it all in one color, then it's always gonna come out in one color. And I can explain that to you a little bit more uh, once I get to the hat portion and you'll see. So for this design, I'm gonna make it real simple. It is gonna say, I get high, and it's gonna have a sort of a, a fighter jet on it. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull up a text box here, and I am going to put, I, oops, it's gonna be all caps, I get, and then the second line is gonna say hi. And I'm gonna make that nice and big. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pick my font here. And I know which one I want. There's a lot of different ones you can go with. You want something that's gonna be really bold though. So something like this that's nice and bold, that's what you're gonna want, okay? We also want these to be closer together. So I'm gonna change the, uh, the space here for the, the lines, so line spacing. I'm gonna bring that way closer together. Good. And then I'm going to make this as big as I can so I can really fill the space. So again, there you go. I get high. And then I'm gonna put a little fighter jet right here. So I'm gonna come up to my elements. And I can put a jet and graphics. And again, you're gonna wanna pick something like a silhouette. So silhouettes work really well with embroidery as long as it's not too detailed. Um, you, you're not gonna wanna do something like, like this one where you get all these colors because again, you're limited to six colors. So you're not gonna get any kind of good variation. So a, um, a silhouette is gonna really look good. So this silhouette here, for example, is gonna look good. And so you can kind of pick whichever silhouette you think would look the best. There's different ones here. So depending on what kind of shape you want it to have. This looks really good. It might be a little difficult to get these itty bitty little details here in terms of the embroidery. So this one might be a little better just cause it's a little simpler. So again, remember, it's gotta be pretty simple because we're talking about embroidering in a very small space. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this image here because I want the, the plane to be facing out. I might angle it up a little bit more. And so something like this, I might even angle it up even more. Depends how I wanna do that. 
need it to fit. I need it to look decent here. So something like that. I get high. So pretty easy design. This is how simple you want to keep it. Again, make sure you do your trademark uh, searches to make sure that the the words you're using aren't trademarked and you have to make sure that they're specifically not trademarked for hats or embroidery. Um, so we're not dealing with t-shirts anymore. So hats are gonna be kind of a separate issue and embroidery may be its own. So make sure that you're safe here. Once you have it the way you want it, we're gonna go ahead and save it. It's titled right here, I Get High. And then what we can do is then pull up our download in, um, in Printful and I'll show you the rest from there, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead, download this. I do want it to be a transparent background. I still want it to be a PNG. And so we're gonna download like that. Perfect. And then I will show you the rest in Printful. Okay, so here we are in Printful. And right now I'm showing you how to create a product template. So it is going to pull up all the different products that you can choose from and again, um, Printful has a lot of different pro um, products and a lot of them can be embroidered. So some of the t-shirts, some of the sweatshirts can be embroidered along with the hats, fanny pads, backpacks. So once you get uh, an embroidery design, you can always try to use it again on other, other items. But for now, we're just gonna focus on hats. So if I come down here and I select hat, you'll see now that there's a lot of different styles of hats that I can deal with, right? Um, so I'm gonna tell you right now, the most popular, the ones that I sell the most on are gonna be these dad hats, baseball caps. So I'll select that. And then from here, there's again, a lot of different styles that you can choose from from here. And again, some of them are gonna be like the flex fits. Those are pretty popular. Um, there's some like Adidas or Champion ones if you wanna be more brand specific. But the one that I sell the most of right here says best seller and I've got it favorited is just your classic dad hat. So this is the way that I typically will start off on everything. And then if you're uploading to a platform like Amazon Seller Central, go ahead and upload it on every hat. You might as well have lots of versions up here, but this is the one that I would always start with. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the dad hat here. And give it a sec. Okay, now you can select your colors here. Again, it depends what, um, what color thread you use on, in terms of whether or not it will look good. Um, I'll usually use a light thread color on a darker hat because those tend to sell better. Um, most of the hats I sell are either black or they are this uh, camo green color. Um, this, so the camo one, this one here, if I can get it to come up. This one here, um, top selling one is this one in the black. So make sure I use thread colors that look good with those, those two specifically. So I'm just gonna click drop your design here. Oops. And it will pull up my file library. Now, if you've already got it saved, great. If not, you can go to upload new file. And I'm just gonna upload the design that we just made real quick, so. This is the one that we just made over in Canva that says I get high and we did it in all black. Okay, so here's the one we just created. I can hit apply. Give it a second and it's gonna put the mock up here. Now we created it in black, so it's showing it in black. Obviously, it's gonna get real hidden in the black, so I'm gonna wanna change the thread color. To do that over here, you can choose thread colors. And so what it'll do is it'll show you uh, the color that you designed in and it'll switch everything in that color to whatever color thread that you want. So because everything was designed in black, I can switch everything to any of these colors, but I can't, um, for example, have the text in one color and the plane in another. Now I can do that if I design in multiple colors. And so I'll show you how that'll look in a second. But right now I've switched everything that I designed in black to white thread and so this is how it's going to look. I get high and it'll show you down here on the different mock-ups for the different colors. And so here is the mock-up for the black hat that says I get high and it's got your cool fighter jet. Now I'm gonna show you um, 
how I would go about changing my design if I wanted to get different colors in here. So let's say I get rid of this design and I'll show you the same design that I made in three different colors. Okay. So here's the same design, it says I get high, except this time when I created the design, I put just three different colors. So now each of these can be changed separately. So I could still make it all white if I wanted to. So for example, if I come over here to my blue color, I can still select white thread, right? So if I want to come over to my red color, I can select white thread and now I'll have an all white design but it means that I can change each of these colors separately. So if I wanted I get high, um, the words to be white, but I wanted the plane here to be a different color, no problem. I can say I wanted the plane to be blue. I can do that. So this is how I could go, go ahead and change different colors with embroidery. So if you think you might want to do different colors for different elements, when you go ahead and do your design, just pick different colors for each line or for each graphic or each image that you might want to choose a different color for. So again, you can always, you, you select the thread colors once you get into Printful, but when you're designing in Canva, it doesn't matter what color you pick, but you can use different colors for different elements and that way you can uh, be more specific um, when you go ahead and design. So that's how we would go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in white though, cause I did like that. And there is my I get high design. Perfect. So I can continue and this is just going to save this as a product template. Um, when it comes to titling it, the title really depends on what platform that you're selling on. So different platforms are gonna have different SEO and, and so the way that you title it would be differently. If I was just gonna sell this on Amazon using something like Seller Central, I would just write, I get high. Um, and I might do something like um, fighter jets, embroidered dad hat embroidered dad hat. And so that would be the simple title that I might give it if I was using it um, just for, for Amazon. And so I can go ahead and say product template here, and then I can put it on whatever store I want. And so that is how we would go about um, making a hat. So pretty simple. Um, anything else I wanted to say about the hats? If you are using Printful, there is an embroidery fee. So the first time that you um, the first time that you sell this design, you would have to pay, I believe it's now $650. Um, they call it for a digitization fee. After you pay that $650 the first time, any sales you make after that, you no longer have to pay that $650 digitization fee. Um, but if you sell it on, let's say, a polo shirt, there is going to be another digitization fee for a different product because you're moving from a hat to clothing and so there's another fee. Um, so just be aware of all your fees because they, they can add up. So you got to make sure that you're not losing money again. But that is it for how we would go about um, go about creating a hat using, using Printful and Canva. So if you found this useful and would like to see more videos like this one, go ahead and um, put some comments um, in the comment section below and I will try to go over you know, anything you guys have questions about. Um, and I hope you found this, uh, I hope you found this useful. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.